Since the fly salesman has been proving to be a major public annoyance, what with his going door to door, trying to sell his flies, and then disappearing from the memories of those living in Night Vale and all, you decide your best bet would be to call the sheriff's secret police and let them handle him. After all, for all you know, he very well could be in cahoots with Steve Carlsberg and that treacherous Telly the Barber. Because you don't seem to have your phone on you and you don't want to cause a scene, you mutter under your breath, Sheriff Secret Police, I have sighted the man with a tan jacket and a deerskin briefcase. I have spotted the fly salesman. No more than five seconds after the words have left your mouth do the sheriff and two secret policemen appear in front of you and a now very startled old woman Josie. The sheriff instructs his secret police to carry out the fly salesman and take him to the helicopter waiting outside. The sheriff then turns to you and says, Cecil Baldwin, are you aware of whom that man was? No, sir, but I think- And it will remain so for the safety of the city of Nightvale. But to reward you for your quick thinking and loyalty to, loyalty to the city, I have been contacted by the city council to inform you that you are to report immediately to be for induction into the city council permanently. You can hardly believe what you are hearing. Inducted into the city council? Permanently? You? Just a humble radio host, now a member of the most powerful and inspiring governing committee in all of Night Vale? Absolutely unbelievable. This is all anyone in all of Night Vale has ever dreamed for in a life, and you have it. Forget a story for your show tonight. You have an induction to go to. Maybe now that you're on the city council, Carlos will forget the whole neat incident and really take notice in you.